Happy 4th of July. Welcome to Keeping Country Strong. Let's give it up for Carl Richards and Mr. Erwin Benzie Ben. Woo! Hey, All right, guys. Welcome, everybody. Pam hey, Murphy right here Thank in the you. middle. She's back. back. Yeah. She's back. <laughs> That song you hear at the it's beginning like, is an original by Pam. That's right. Keeping Country it's Strong. Like, and that's it's been like number one. Right? It, it, it was a number one. I think it's number three or four right now. Still. But it's on um, the, the, the country charts. Wow. Um, actually, country rock charts. So, yeah, it's actually been up there still. I know. I'm excited. People like it. Agree. That is fantastic. And it's all, I wrote it I just like for us here. Dice. I'm back. I'm back. Yeah. I that's hear you. Great. We got a great show tonight, Mr. Carl. Yeah, we yeah, do. Yeah, we do. And uh, we got a lot of things coming up, too. We got to mention everything we got coming up. We got, uh, okay, on July 15th, we have uh, Friday, July 15th, Fantastic Friday Casino Trip to Mohegan Ooh. Sun Poconos. Right oh, on that's always here. fun. Sounds exciting. That's going to be a good time. We're leaving from Monroe and Middletown. About Eight seats left hey, why don't you get the ponytails so, to come on the bus and sing a cappella? Oh, that's great. who we're having on tonight. Yes, they would, so they would tell love us, to come sing on the bus. Like, what? How do we get a hold of you oh, to do yes. this trip and stuff like that? Okay, but the cell number of my cell is 845 234 5323, or you can go to facebook.com slash Benzy Promotions and or become friends with me, join that group. Or get a hold of Carl or Pam on Facebook. Between us, we all have about 10,000 friends. If you want to go, get a hold of us. We'll get you on board. We have Can't give that. prices out, but <laughs> what you pay, you get back when you get off the bus. So it's even. You're good off the oh, bus. That's a fun time. And the hot dog tour will be coming up. Money? They give you like, comps. I call it play money. I don't know yeah. what to call it. They give you uh, comps okay. in, in cash and in food. How much fun. So mm. the amount you pay to go take the, take the bus ride, they give it to you. As you're getting off the bus. Great. So Great. basically you're That's even as, as you're getting off the bus. So it's an even deal. Now, so the date again on that? Friday, July 15th. When is the hot dog tour? That's the one I uh, like. The 13th Annual New Jersey Hot Dog Tour is Saturday, September 24th. I can't believe it's here already. That, yeah, I know, right? Wow. And that leaves yeah. from Middletown, New York. And uh, the 1999 Nathan's 4th of July Hot Dog Eating Champ, Steve Kiner, is going to be on board. Oh, wow. Boy. So that's going to be a good time. And that also, that's a great price. We leave from Middletown, New York. The tour starts in New Jersey at Galloping Hill Inn. And we go to six different spots. How long to, do you anticipate this trip to last? Like, if you We were... leave Middletown at 10 a.m. We're usually back by 8 p.m. Oh, so okay. So it's a get, good long day. It's about six hours. Mm. Uh, we, we give about an hour each stop. It's a lot of hot dogs. So we have two motor they coaches. They eat a lot of hot dogs. 100 <laughs> attendees, two motor coaches. Celebrities, so celebrities show up at each spot. One mm -hmm. year we had the mayor. I, I, I honestly I don't even remember what town it was. The mayor showed up and gave a proclamation. Oh wow! We're at a hot dog truck, and the mayor showed up and did a proclamation. Got on a local news channel down there uh, in New Jersey, and we, we've been in the media, uh, all the publications, the Daily oh, News, exciting. New York Times. You like hot dogs? You gotta go on over the trip. years. Oh, well, you know, over Frank, the, the Texas Wiener man, wants to go on that trip. All right, with you. yeah. We'll get a, uh, have him get a hold of us. I started eating I think hot I have, dogs. I have a cell number. I did start eating them because of you. Oh, yeah? The turkey hot dogs, though. The turkey hot dogs? <laughs> <laughs> Listen, before I never used to eat them, so... Turkey. I got to yeah. give a shout-out to John Fox, New Jersey's foremost authority on hot dogs. He's been on the Travel Channel, the Food Network, and he knows everything there is to know about hot dogs, even stuff you don't want to know about hot dogs. <laughs> At every place we go to, he knows... When it opened, how long, who's the owner, style of dogs they serve. He knows everything about each place. And uh, he's going to be, he's the co-host of the tour. He, he picks the spots. He'll pick about 10 to 12 spots. And then with my help, we'll narrow it down to six or seven every year. Hey, why don't so, we bring the snake uh, guy? shout out to John. Why don't we bring the snake guy in the bus? Snake man is not doing too good. Oh, no. Snake man is uh, not well. He didn't get bit, days. did he? He, oh, no. he has given up his snake business. Jerry the Snake Man. <gasps> oh wow! Lives in Bloomingburg, New York. He was in the hospital for uh, for a, oh, no. quite a while. I I, I, mm. I seen his wife, and uh, she says he's not doing too good. So uh, shout out to him. He had yeah, to get definitely. A little, Sorry, to hear little that, amputation Jerry. done uh, on his leg. I don't know how far oh, down. But. Wow. Hey, and we also yeah. got to put a shout out to my uh, fiddle player young lady and she went on a vacation came back and went to the doctor she didn't feel good they rushed her to Westchester so she's got uh, uh, cancer oh uh, no leukemia oh, oh my goodness prayers for her then definitely. so we, we miss her but she'll make a recovery she's yeah. gonna come back 
They let her go out two weeks, and then she got to come back for chemo. It's an ongoing battle. Is she, can she plot, uh, is, She can't do nothing she can't, until... She can't do anything, right? No, because she's so tired all the time. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, too, uh, and so also, uh, I got a shout out to Al, who plays the the harp with me, who's fighting cancer. Also, has okay, a, that's three. Has that's a three, tumor. So that's it. No more. Yeah, he has a I tumor like those, on like his kidney stories. the size of a football. Okay, that's three. And that's Things terrible. Three, right, man? Yeah, they do. That's, that's what I was saying. I said, who's going to be the third one? You're going to. I'm very well, right. One, two, three. Yeah. <laughs> well, now, uh, on a positive note. Yeah, pause. Let's go positive. positive note. This guy sake. is playing all summer long. Your band, you and your band are playing. Carl Richards many, Band. CarlRichardsBand.com is uh, the website, right? Yep. You don't even know how many places you're playing. That's how much Amazing. you're playing, right? That's good. You wake up in the morning, I check the website, and say, "Oh, we got to go to Ellenville, uh, the Blueberry Fest. Oh, we got to go to the Orange County Fair today, right?" Right. So that's we, a lot. You got a lot of shows this summer. Yeah, we're around. <laughs> Wurzburg is the next one coming up, right? No, we're uh, we're going to be at the. Uh, Honors Hotel. Honors Haven? Yeah. In we're going to be there Friday night. All right. Open to is, the public? Which, yeah, which is a nice step up That's for us. That's a nice us. place. And then uh, we're going to be down to your buddies there in Bloomingburg, which I don't do clubs with the lady begged me to come back. Who's that? Uh, Wild Rodeo okay. Saloon. All right. But then we'll end up over to Quick Way Diner after. That's all we care about. And then July 9th, I think, is the Wurzburg. Well, July 4th, I'm at Rockin' Horse Ranch. Oh, Rockin' Horse Ranch again. So I, See how many shows I can't even keep up with this guy. They, yeah, right? they come in. Somebody likes hillbillies out there. That's all. <laughs> well, you got it right. Summer, summer is the season. Right. Memorial Day to, to Labor Day. Yeah, and, and you know, with July Fourth, Independence Day coming up, you got some great songs. Our right song in that movie's doing real good. And uh, what song? My gospel tune. Which it's one? A, it's uh, called the End of the Byway. End of the Byway. Got it. It. And, uh, and yeah, the and they, they didn't drop it either. They kept it in there. I got a copy of it. Oh, home. that's so sweet. What movie is that in? It's um, Collar. Collar the movie. Okay. And then also, Mr. Phil, who's here, he he did one of my songs in a movie he was in. Oh, really? What was what the name of the that? movie, Phil? The Renaissance Man. The Renaissance, the Renaissance Man. Man. So oh, he sang God, one down so there. Great. That's so cool. So who cares? They're doing our songs <laughs> all over. There you go. That's it. That's, that's a way to get the get your name out there. Yeah. You know, so. And it's always nice forward. when your songs get played or somebody else uses it. It's nice, yeah. isn't it? Yeah, it's but nice you want to get some money out of it, would be even better. But... <laughs> Now, what do we have going well, on at the Hudson Valley Conservatory well, this summer? Well, let's see. Oh, well, that place. She's been so the busy. The Hudson Valley forget. Conservatory. That I'm co-owner, as you know. I do music there. And my other owners are Samuel E. Wright and Amanda Wright. We do music, dance, and drama there. We've got summer camps going on. Oh, yeah. We do three summer camp shows. We do, like, uh, musicals. And it's like musical <clears throat> juniors. You know, like, if you do Grease, you do Grease juniors. We've got three of those going on starting... Um, not next week, but the week after Monday. Open to the public. And so, it is. You, you, yeah. you, yeah. They are pretty much. But I would say call ahead because that will oh, sell yeah, out. Yeah. We got yeah. a, a small family, theater, the New Rose members, Theater. Yeah. Oh, family that's a members great first, theater. but I've then we do here. we do charge like five bucks for these because the summer yeah. camps we do. But we have um we have a spring awakening we're doing also with the older kids, the teenagers, which is a very have you ever you know the content in spring awakening? It's very mature oh. content. So. It's one of those ones that it's just, if you want to see it, just know, look at ahead of time so you know what you're looking at. We're doing that. Um, I'm trying to think. We have drama intensive camps, but all kinds of stuff going on. I pass by two, twice a week now. Uh, my little guy is playing in the Walden uh, Summer Basketball mm -hmm. League at most pre Ooh, precious you know club. exactly where he is. My sons Wednesday did that. Nights. Excellent yeah. lead, by the way. Excellent. Uh, ex it is excellent. And my younger son's doing My older son is is more is getting into other things. Mm -hmm. But uh, he played in it for, for four years. Mm -hmm. And it's a great league. It's at most precious blood uh, Catholic school. Right there in Walden, yeah. Yeah, and every time, I, every day, I drive go by. Right I go right by me. That's Bam's place. I've got to stop. If I didn't have a van full of people, I know I that's all right. Well, well, she don't care. So you can you can get a hold of me at hvcfa.com. You can check it out or stop by at 35 East Main Street in Walden. Like I said, it's the Hudson Valley Conservatory. We do music, dance, and drama lessons. So you can just come and take lessons if you want. If you want to come see a show, and you can see a show at the New Rose Theater. Stop well, we played there and you like, emceed, didn't you? Yeah, 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 yeah you did. It was yeah. great. Was uh, Walden? We did yeah. Discover Walden. Discover we, Walden. We, uh, I we discovered did a grand it right. reopening of Walden. Yeah. You did discover it. That was a lot of fun, actually. That. That Thank was you. All kinds of fun stuff there. Yeah. 
So I'm doing that, but I'm also um, I've been teaching now at Goshen School. And listen, School. we oh, gotta Goshen. we gotta yeah. mention uh, we're doing Rock in the City for Hunger in Port Jervis again, September 17th, and these young ladies here are, are going to be there performing. Right. Pam's going to be I'm there. Gonna be there. Yeah. And a bunch of other, Mr. Phil and Mary if Frost is going to be it, there. That's actually the Pine Bush and, uh, Harvest Fest. I do not know if we're going to have a booth. We're supposed to have a booth for the Cub mm -hmm. Scouts. So if, if we don't do, if, we, if, if I can make it, I'm going to be down there. Well, knock well, I'll let you know in advance. Yeah. So, knock the tent over an accident. So I got to get going. I don't, I, I don't look. I'm not looking forward to And I'm inviting that. everybody, uh, July 12th, night. we're going to be on a Tuesday night over in Matamoros and something new. It's uh, local bands playing and singing, and we're going to be there uh, July 12th Tuesday. from 6 to 8. And it's going really well, and, and uh, next year they're going to have a budget, and hopefully we can get That's a big key, the ponytails in them to yeah. play there. Wait, say this, where is it again? It's in... Uh, the airport park. Okay, that's where I need it. Where I have my Morris. picnic down in the back in the big pavilion. Like you all know where he has his picnic. So <laughs> well, everybody in town comes. What do you mean? These ladies are um, invited. They want to come. Shows because At the airport fans are park. donating their time this year. You know when you first with the hope to get it right. going for next year. Well, you told when you first told when I first met you invited me to your picnic. You're like, oh, at the airport park. Now I live in Walden, so when I think airport, I think of Stewart Airport. Stewart Air Force Base. So was I'm there like, anybody there? Airport. <laughs> what? I'm like, where? What is he doing? Where? I had no idea where you're talking about. Was, so, was it it's in Matamoros, PA. Was, was it an old airport? I wonder. Yeah, yeah, local airport. Yeah. Really? Sort of like the one down behind your house. There's one down there too. Yeah, yeah. You learn something new every. And that's the same place. That's the same spot where you're gonna do. The port rock in the city for hunger, right? No, that's that's Riverside Park. Oh, I'm, that's in Port so Jervis. Confused. That's in okay. Port Jervis. Before you cross the Silver Bridge, a can or a case okay. of food, yeah. non-perishables. And last year we doubled it. This will be our third year. And uh, just bring the food if you don't want to listen to the music, which is going to be fun and great. Actually, uh, one of the ponytails was playing tambourines with my band last year. We had a ball over there. Nice. The, yeah, I, I was a great day. It was beautiful. It was just a great day overall. And I, I just love the fact that you see all these people who lend their talents to support a great cause like that. Like, you know, especially, um, it goes to local food pantries and churches, correct? And there, yes, and nobody the gets and paid, donations. not even me or that's, my sound guy. That's right. similar to the toys for kids we do with the first Saturday in December in Ellenville at the Pioneer Fire Department right. every mm -hmm. year. The toys that we collect. If you come, if you come, you, you, you bring a new toy, and that's your admission, and you get to see bands for four hours play, and it's a fundraiser for the town of Warsing to provide toys at Christmas for kids. Right. And we collected over what eight hundred. Eight hundred homes, and they raised homes five thousand cash. Five thousand. Mm -hmm. So what it is is all the toys, similar to the food drive, everything stays in the community. So it's when you're when you're promoting. That's what I like to see. So you yeah. know where it's going. You know it's staying here. Yeah, you know that it's it's going to people in need who are them, immediately in your area. With all these, the, the churches and stuff take it over. They get it. They hand it out. So nobody's touching it or taking it. And with the toys, uh, they wanted to keep it in their town. That's why we changed the name of it. And uh, it's going real well. This is our seventh year there, mm. and the town loves what we do there. So that's good. That's, yeah, it's, it's definitely full of, uh, for thousands of kids, we've provided toys. Right, yeah. Help, and Mr. and Mrs. Claus. Yeah. Yeah, it's a great time. So that's who I wanted to get involved this year with that, by the way, the Toys for Kids. Because now that I'm teaching at Goshen, I can get the Goshen kids to come over. Ooh. Because be I don't have a show You're that day. You're welcome anytime you want to do something. So I would yeah. love that. Um, yeah, because I'm starting to select chorus up with the Goshen group, and then I can bring them over. Well, let's get these ladies up. All right. Because they're at the bar right now. And, uh, Very so these ladies shows, are yeah. ready to go for the 4th of July and Independence Day. Where's their leader? Hopefully everybody there? is going to get out and enjoy and Well, celebrate. ladies, come on over. This is the Ponytails, and they put on a great so show on wherever up. they go. Would you introduce them? You two sit over there. Come on, come on up, up Ponytails. Up, ponytails. Woo! World famous Ponytails. Well, yeah. well, well, right. Beautiful. Wow. They look gorgeous. They do yes. all kinds of shows, motorcycle shows, fundraisers. Yeah. This lady right. here is How are you? Ton of stuff. Back. Hi. Now, for everyone at home, introduce yourselves. We're going to go around. I'm Noella Starr. Noella. 
I'm Dusty. Dusty. I'm Dee. Dee. Naomi. All right, welcome. And you know known as the Ponytails. Yay. That's right. Very famous group. And they will be at the food bank drive, right? Mm -hmm. And they're going to be, well, the band's going to be at the Orange County Fair, right? It's not the ponytail. No, no, it's oh, it's the band. I call so you're band. part of the band also. I'll never remember them letters. A R C love Z. the doodle. Z. Yeah. Z. A R Z. And they're a hot band too. They're all talented. A whole bunch of them. Now, how long have the ponytails been Since around? Since 1991. 1991. Wow. Yeah. I was a wow. kid then. Yeah, I think this is like our silver <laughs> anniversary. Yeah. Yeah, I think so. I was just out of diapers Great. back then. Oh yeah. No. You liar. <laughs> so where is anybody going to see you guys? We got to, we, besides what I'm talking about, I know you do all kinds of stuff. Uh, you know, tomorrow we're way upstate in Greenport, Greenport, New York, tomorrow. Is that July 1st? Yes, July, July right? July. So I'm where sorry, say that again? So Because people in Port Jervis are seeing this right now. Oh, in uh, Greenport. Where that? Greenport Town Park. I, I think it's up in Hudson, New York. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah. Okay. That's not too far. I grew up in Red Hook, which is right below Hudson. Our good friend, the Irish singer, recently passed away. Somewhere. Yeah, he was up there. Yeah, Bob. Bob Dunn. Bob Dunn. Yeah. yeah. He was I was just up by too. Hyde Park uh, playing for a moose lodge up there. What a ride. <laughs> What's your favorite venue that you've ever played, besides right here, of course? <laughs> you beat me to it. I, was <laughs> like, I, know, I, know. I know you were going to say that. <laughs> See, she's know, like I, the rest I, of us. You can't remember all I that. Just can't, I can't yeah, well, you, you do have your favorites, um, yeah. but you do also have some that stick out more than others. Yeah. Like the car shows are always great, yeah. or the street fairs where you can interact with the people more and get the children out there. Those are more of the favorites. Some ones. bands that mention, like, cause just because of acoustics or how, how how the crowd is, they remember a certain venue because the crowd mm -hmm. was good. Mm -hmm. But uh, yeah, car shows and fairs. That, that's. Well, I, you I, should I, have I, seen I, her playing the tambourine with me last year. Oh yeah. Yeah. Renata and her. They awesome. But I heard so them whisper did, when they get up on the stage. What are we gonna do with this hillbilly country? <laughs> <laughs> and then the head with we, it. Turned it to and, we turned it around. We turned around. Carl, go take a seat. We turned around and rocked the joint. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sure you did. So sort how did you guys sort of. all Renata meet? And I like I know because we've seen well, her. Well, they took the whole I've show. Seen you they before. hogged the whole we show. Did. Yes, we did. <laughs> I've seen. We've back. seen her perform <laughs> on stage when I went to go see Phil in Poughkeepsie. I remember seeing you, mm -hmm. and you had your country outfit on. You did a really nice job. Thank so how you. did you all kind of meet each other? Because you're all musicians in your own Years ago. realm. Music I, business. Yeah, yeah. Music yeah. business. I was a. I've had a DJ karaoke business for many years. Okay. And when you're you know, in that type of uh, business, you have a tendency to meet all kinds of people, bands and fans and it's just everyone. Mm -hmm. Well, Benzie wants to come out and sing some karaoke. So how did you meet? Yeah, but I can't Actually, sing. Actually, I, I met her over don't 20 matter. years ago from my ex-husband. Oh, okay. And we Actually, we still sing together once in a while, but I've been one of those over 20 years off and on. Oh, that's great. That's mm -hmm. good for you. And I was with them, and then mm -hmm. I left for like 10 years, mm -hmm. and I'm back for more fun. Oh, good. I enjoy it even more. It is fun. It can be hectic, but it's fun. Mm -hmm. How many shows a, a year do you get to play all together, probably? Right now, we're only doing summertime. Okay. And we don't want to do bars anymore, ever. It's a tough scene. Me too. Bars. It, it really is. It's tough. A lot of car yeah. shows. Well, the, the, like Carl mentioned, that he, the bars want to pay the same thing they paid 25 years we ago. We had this discussion. The same uh, amount of money. Right, and less. I don't understand or less. Or less. Less, less right? Yeah. Yeah. I don't get that. You made more in the 70s at the mm. Silver Dollar in Monroe mm. right. than, than you make today. In a, in a bar scene, you know. Yeah. And they never said, it's crazy. there's not a big crowd here, and I can only give you half the money, and that kind of stuff. They do that all over today. And you also and get what they charge for the door, and yeah. tell you, if you can bring your own crowd and charge oh, that's the door, it too. then you'll get half the yeah. seat. Yeah. You have to bring they X number of people There's in. An you answer say your that. name. There's an answer for that door thing. It's called advertising? No, I tell them, <laughs> mail me the door. If I like it, I'll let you know. <laughs> Or they Just want to feed you, yeah. you know, yes. and then that's when you have to call your electric company and say, "Can I send you a salad next week?" Instead <laughs> yeah, of me? you know, because I got a salad the other night. Yeah, I had a, a club over on 211. Everybody, I don't want to mention because the guy's a good guy, but 
He says, can't you come over and play? I'll give you 300 bucks and half this door. I says, can't you send me the whole door? And then <laughs> if I like it, I'll come on over. <laughs> and he has quite a few stars. He does like the chance they bring like the bass player from a famous group or the, or the rhythm guitar player or the drummer from famous groups, which are great, but it's not the band. And that's their, their thing, so. But what are you gonna do, right? Mm -hmm. right. I don't that's care. That's how, how they, they gotta stay. In, they're, they're they're staying in business. But I mean, a group like you guys, you know, you're gonna fill the place, so they should pay. So Same tell, as they should pay anyway. Should pay. Tell us how you guys work out your routines. Like who sings lead? What do you guys do? Pick your own favorite song. How does that work? Yeah, how do you Excuse decide me. that? Well, I usually pick out all the songs. Okay. But I, I see who sings whichever song better, okay. and I give it to that one, mm -hmm. you know. Um, and the routines, they follow me so well <laughs> on that stage. Good. It's like I'm always changing the moves. Mm -hmm. They're looking at me with the side of their eyes. Mm -hmm. They're, oh, now she's I heard changing. they go, oh, oh brother, here have, she goes again. <laughs> but you have like a routine that you, you do consistently, so they're used to it, like, yeah. oh, she's mm -hmm. doing this one now. Right, right. We, we have, have things basic. called the box step, right. the arms, basic, yeah. the roll. <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, they follow. They well, follow. I want you to come. If I ever get to do a <laughs> show together, I want to do. I'm going to glad you're involved in it. But I just have to get around to it. Okay, I'm waiting. You know, so. Well, I got Larry Chance and all that. I got a bunch of people's interested. You know, it's like everything else. You got to get money for it. Mm -hmm. I think Carl's the only one who didn't get the memo tonight to wear a little It's patriotic. Little well, he's yeah, blue. Patriotic. Red, white, and blue. Oh, okay. We could do that. Yeah. I got a wish of Salvation Army. I thought it was great. <laughs> <laughs> and how about your outfits? Who gets to pick out those? I do. <laughs> I knew it. I love you it. You make them or you just get them yeah, somewhere? Do you, yeah. uh, both. Both. Nice. Yeah. Because I know you wear all different things for different occasions. It really occasions. is. I love it. It just looks so good when you guys get together and you're all wearing the same thing. Yeah, it just looks fun. really nice on stage. That's great. And how can anybody get a hold of you, lady? Well, uh, they'll watch the end of the show, and they'll see our website, our email, our phone number. Well, a lot of that's going to go up while you're singing, too. Okay, good. What is your website? Theponytails.com. There you go. That's an easy And you're also on Facebook, right? You said? Yeah, she's on Facebook. The Ponytails. But I think that, don't you have a page? Yes, we have a um, Ponytails page. Mm -hmm. I'd drive her nuts on there. Are you kidding? <laughs> Well, between the, all our friends and the ponytails, you guys have a lot of fans on there too. So, mm -hmm. I mean, we'll just cross promote. It's okay. amazing how in your career you, you crisscross with people that you started out yeah. with, yeah. and then years go by, and, and then mm -hmm. all of a sudden that bass player, guitar it's player. Back again. Yeah. Uh, Doreen, the, the classic music, case of Really, that. musicians? They the, go, the grass it, wasn't that green world. on the other yeah. side. You know, like you yeah. said, you will eventually see each other. That is correct. Well, what makes it better is when you have a certain group people that click and they connect and you have that great personality with each mm -hmm. other and everyone can have fun mm -hmm. you know right. and when you are enjoying yourself the crowd can then enjoy themselves as that's well that's so true because when they see you're having fun then they can have well fun. see my bass player he's got sugar <laughs> i have to bring him a candy bar to every show Otherwise, we love you, Daryl, but you can be a bear if you don't have your he's sugar. He's cranky, so we hand him uh, three musketeers or something. I take Snickers. Yeah, Snickers. That's it. Snickers. I'll take Kit Kat, Snickers. Yeah, that yeah, works. All of a sudden, he mellows out like nothing happened. Everybody else is ready to choke him. But, uh, but he's a good, he's a good, he does shows like Pam does. And uh, he's a professor, too, in the college. Yeah, yeah. So. At Ock. Very, teaches music there. You got a lot of talented guys in your band. Mm -hmm. And I got to thank the Moose Lodge. We played there this weekend. They were great. The the way they treated us over there. Where? It's like thousands of Moose Lodges. It's Where it's was? over right on. Back? Well, you go out towards uh, uh, Marser Mercy College. You were on the other side of the river, so Maris Terrace. Right. Maris Maris. Okay. Maris mercy. could have been Mercy for me. Mercy me. <laughs> and then you go down past the some, the Coronary School. Culinary. And then you make a right. <laughs> well, make... with the mercy. Wait, this is how I get directions yeah, from him. Can I just say? Let's call him Mercy. <laughs> how, do I, how do I get there, Carl? Then you make you a go right. Down to mercy College, and then you take a right at Coronary, and then <laughs> no, that means, the bar, you take a left. Then you hang a right. Uh, Who would end up in a Bronx? 
street on, number. On Veterans Memorial Highway, you go about a mile, there's a T, make a left, and you get down, the Moose Lodge is down there. It's in Rhinebeck, right? Is Hyde Park. It Hyde Park, Park or Rhinebeck? Rhinebeck? Hyde Park? Nobody knows. It's there. <laughs> I do know. I, I love it. The culinary institute. The <laughs> Sorry, My culinary. wife says, "What are they you talking about?" They have really good food there. Have you ever been? Oh, cool. The culinary. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Uh, I, I went by it. Really I've been to every room there. <laughs> All good. I was thinking bypass or something. <laughs> yeah. But, uh, no, they took care of us. Uh, well, when they found out I was once junior governor, which is like vice president of the Moose, mm -hmm. and things turned around. Oh boy. Oh yes, about. you're getting dinner and everything. Yeah. That's great. Right. Red Hook Elks Club. Yeah. So if I go there for a show, I'll oh, just yeah. tell them I was <laughs> a vice here. president yeah. and I'll get a dinner and everything. Well, you got to prove it. <laughs> I'll tell them I'll prove it after I eat. <laughs> yeah, I've been in all of them clubs. The Elks, I was a member there. Wow. I'm a part member there. Remember Mamacating Moose Lodge out on 209? Mm -hmm. No. You remember it? Yeah, and over there was uh, we had a good thing oh, going. Right, right between here and Ellenville. Yeah, yeah. Yes, absolutely. And uh, mm -hmm. we wanted to make it for the kids and the community, and certain people there wanted to keep it a bar room. Mm -hmm. And they said we do one thing a year. I said, well, I'm done here, even if I am vice president. The president, me, and 35 people got up and walked out. Oh my gosh! And then that it was like, happened to that place. Yeah, well, you want to mess with me? I'll take you down the street. Watch <laughs> out. Now, the guy Same from the Moose Lives the over there who knew me, actually, wanted me to maybe come down to Port Jervis and run one down here. Port Jervis is an excellent one. I've been down there a few times. I'm part of the Monticello, well, so and we do a lot with the community and the vets. Moose Lodge? No, no, not Moose Lodge. I'm sorry. I thought you meant the Elks Lodge. Oh, the Elks, yeah. Yeah. I tried to get in there, but the, I don't know. The one guy was crazy that I was dealing with. But the, they want to start the moose lodge down in Port Jervis. Oh, okay. And put me in charge. Why not? I ain't got enough on my plate. I'm going out of my mind. <laughs> you do have enough. Like 50 other things. We might be starting our own TV station. I feel like, station. what? No. Now you want to have another TV station. It. Yeah, so, I know, right? Like a president of a moose mm. too. So we, we might, I can't say positive, we might start our own TV station in Madam Morris. Very nice. Which we already have all the insurance and all the equipment. <laughs> so I guess it's, it's going to happen. Thing to do. So it's my spare moments. But it's yeah. nice that you're able to get like the ponytails but, out there to the public. So yes. you know but I, I love groups. other musicians and stuff that are dedicated. This lady here I've known forever. Mm -hmm. And we only recently in the last two years actually got to talk to each other without the bands running her mouth. Mm -hmm. And uh, mm -hmm. she's very talented and I respect her at that. And uh, you know, we hit it off sort of. Do you guys ever record anything and put it out there on CDs? I know oh, you God, had yes. a CD. We have many CDs. Do you? Could you tell us a little bit about them? Um, What's the name of them? Where we can get the them? The ponytails. <laughs> Is it? Okay. Um, you know what? We have CDs, but we we just about are out of them. Mm -hmm. You know, we, we we were thinking about making some new ones. Well, listen. Yeah. Why That's not? A good idea. Why don't you send me three on my email? Yeah. Three yeah. of your songs. That'd be great. Yeah. MP3, and then on my radio show, I'll have you on. It's on Tuesday night at 11 o'clock. Okay. And we'll okay. play three oh. cuts off it. You can all call in. Okay. And we'll talk. Mr. Phil Sounds and good. Mary, they co host when they're out there, and they we just talk about music and things going on. Wonderful. AM or PM? It's PM. <laughs> just checking. You're just trying to make it tougher on me. <laughs> I love it. Nighttime. Go for it. <laughs> Late at night. <laughs> So you're you're busy and everybody knows basically everybody's heard of you. I know that. Yeah. And uh, I hope so. <laughs> well, I I if wish not, you the best I'm and, <laughs> and your boyfriend, right? I Bill. wish I wish your band the best because these guys are hot. You want to hear these guys? I'm, 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 I'm can't I've wait. They were on this show one night. When? When you weren't here. You were here. I got to hear them. I missed that week. I was actually here. She was on. here. I, I keep I'll rotating these too. guys. Ah. I that Pam, that you was, were here when ARZ was I here? was. I was here. Oh. Yep. Okay. And we oh, had fun. Yes, that's yeah. right. We were I on thought that you were too, but... the ponytails. No, no. That's no, I was here for the ponytails, too. Yes. I, missed was, I was yeah. here for ARZ. Christmas. Here for the Christmas yeah. show. Yeah. Yeah. That was fun. Well, we want to hear the ponytails. Yes. We want to hear you guys sing. 
In reality, you're going to take the show out tonight. We are. Okay. Yeah. Sing until you drop. Okay. Meanwhile, we'll all be in here drinking cool water. Uh, <laughs> thank you. And, but I appreciate you coming down. I it? appreciate you having us come down. This is always yes, fun. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm. And uh, we'll promote whatever you're doing or your thank boyfriend's you, band. You. Send it to us on Facebook and we'll <laughs> plaster it on everybody. You know. Okay. Because right now I'm close to 5,000 fans and friends, and I know Bensie's pretty close, and you're who knows where you are. But well, we send it to each other, so. Better. There's other stuff, so. I woke up one day and I just. I don't even know who they are. There's other venues. I don't know. No idea. Do you have people that friend request me and be like, do I know you? My biggest problem, and Benzie will tell you this, I'll send something to you, not realizing it goes to her, 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 and him. And then he'll send it to us. So yeah. then I'll send it to it, him. And then you'll get well, it. Well, you know, everybody's it. had it I'll six it times again. and they're sending me messages. <laughs> I'll get it What again. the heck are you doing? Yeah. I didn't realize it in the beginning, so I keep yeah. doing it anyway. <laughs> so so li listen, friend. ladies, go on over and get ready. <laughs> We'll introduce you. We really appreciate you coming down. Definitely. Yeah. Thank, Thank you so much. Thank you so I enjoy much. it. All right. We hope you do. Oh, we will, I'm sure. Oh, well, I always have. Friends out in TV land will enjoy it. And they are dressed for patriotic today. That's right. Thanks for picking up July 4th. Anybody got any plans? Please be safe with the fireworks and everything. Everybody I out there. I have to avoid uh, fireworks and stuff because my little guy is, uh, doesn't like the loud noises mm -hmm. and the weather. He doesn't like the rain, the wind, loud noises, and fire. Oh, so, gotcha. It's going to get worse as he gets older. Actually, stay home for July, or if we're going to a party, oh, okay. a party that's not going to have gotcha. fireworks. Well, I hope everybody else enjoys, but be safe. Yeah. yeah. There's so many accidents with fireworks. I want to do Maybrook. And New York now, you can buy fireworks. You walk. Oh into, my gosh! All over the place. You walk into the super, super centers, yeah. and the, and the whole oh, world of fireworks. And they're at the fireworks are popping up these tents all over the place. I know. Yeah, it's we've crazy. got two of them in uh, Montgomery. I, I can't get used to that. But yeah, it's odd, right? It is very but odd. I, I'm gonna go to Maybrook. My friend Dennis Leahy is the mayor there, and they're doing the high rides. <laughs> band is performing. If you want to come oh, out, it's oh, seven yeah, o'clock in Maybrook. Yeah. Down by the senior center, down by the baseball fields. There's two senior centers. Fourth of July. And then that's no, that's this Friday, okay. um, the first. Thank you. And then All right. Saturday the second. One more. All right, West come on, come on. West Get it out, baby. A military band is playing outside. You get to see the band and the concert, and then okay. you can. You just go to the and you lay out and you put a blanket and you can watch the fireworks while they're playing. Yeah, I guess. Oh, that's, that's great. Saturday, July second. I think it's at seven thirty p.m. So. There's other fireworks all around, but those yeah, two that's are... that's what we're going to try to avoid. All we and poor Jervis to... fireworks are tomorrow night, Friday. Oh, You're awesome. Over here. Awesome, right. okay. We are right. ready. Are you ladies for ready? world famous. Talented ladies, and we got an audience for them. They can yeah. all scream that's and yell right. for you. All right, Benzie. All right, are we ready? Yeah. Well, so we have a big yeah. treat. The world famous Ponytails. Take it away.
sugar and spice Not free or nice Black sugar and spice So nice, so nice I got you something that I know Carl and Pamela are going to like. Oh, by the way, we are the Ponytails doing some country music. I go out walking after midnight, out in the moonlight, just hoping you might be somewhere out walking. After midnight, searching for me. I walk for miles along the highway. That's just my way of saying. I love you, I'm always walking After midnight, searching for you I stopped to see a weeping willow Crying on his pillow Maybe he's crying for me And as the skies turn gloomy The night winds whisper to me I'm as lonesome as I can be. I go out walking after midnight, out in the moonlight, just hoping you might be somewhere out walking. After midnight, searching for me. Shake it down. Do you love me? 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 Now I can dance. Watch me now. 
It's a country again. Doreen's got a really fun song for you. I think they like country on the station. I think so. Too. <laughs> I think so. Maybe a little bit, right? Yeah. Yeah, it's about a little small hometown. I want to tell you all a story about a Harper Valley widowed wife. Who had her teenage daughter who attended Hobble Valley Junior High? Well, her daughter came home one afternoon and didn't even stop to play. And she said, Mom, I got a note here from the Hobble Valley PTA. Well, the note said, Mrs. Johnson, you're wearing your dresses way too high. It's reported you've been drinking and a run around with men and going wild. And we don't believe you ought to be a bringing up your little girl this way. And it was signed by the secretary, Harple Valley PTA. Well, it happened that the PTA was gonna meet that very afternoon. They will show surprise when Mrs. Johnson wore her miniskirt into the room. And as she walked up to the blackboard, I can still recall the words she had to say. She said, I'd like to address this meeting of the Harbor Valley PTA. Well, there's Bobby Taylor sitting there, and seven times he's asked me for a date. Mrs. Taylor sure seems to use a lot of ice whenever he's away. And Mr. Baker, can you tell us why your secretary had to leave this town? And should a widow Jones be told her keep her window shades or pull completely down? 
Well, Mr. Harper couldn't be here cause he stayed too long at Kelly's bar again. And if you smell Shirley Thompson's breath, you'll find she had a little nip of gin. And then you have the nerve to tell me you think that as a mother I'm not fit. Well, this is just a little Peyton place and you're a Harper Valley hypocrite. No, I wouldn't put you on, you see, it really did. It happened just this way. The day my mama sucked it to the Harper Valley PTA. The day my mama sucked it to the Harper Valley PTA. something different.
I'll never confess, but I am a redneck at heart. Well, I ain't never been the barber at all time. I can't speak that sweet champagne. I'd rather drink beer all night in a tavern or in a honk tonk or on a four wheel drive tailgate. I got posters on my wall of Skinner, Kid, and Straight. Some people look down on me. But I don't give a rip I'll stand barefooted in my own front yard With a baby on my hip Cause I'm a redneck woman And I ain't no high class broad I'm just a product of a race And I say hey y'all and yee-haw And I keep my Christmas lights on On my front porch all year long And I know all the words Every Charlie Daniels song So here's to all my sisters Sisters out there keeping it country. Let me get a big hell yeah from the redneck girls like me. Hell yeah, hell, hell yeah. yeah. Victoria's Secret. Well, this stuff's real nice. Oh, yeah. I can buy the same damn thing on a Walmart shelf at price. Still, Still looks sexy, sexy, just sexy. Those models on TV. No, I don't need no designer tag to make my man want me. You might think I'm trashy, a little too hardcore. But in my neck of the woods, I'm just the girl next door. Hey, I'm a redneck woman, and I ain't no high-class broad. Just a product of my race, and I say, hey, y'all, hey, yee-haw. And I keep my Christmas lights on on my front porch. All my sisters, sisters out there, there keeping it country. country. Let me get a big hell yeah from the redneck girls like me. Hell yeah, hell, hell yeah. yeah. Uh. Go, guys. 
guys. Do this now. Go-go music really makes you dance Do the pony and put you in a trance Go out to say just give us a chance That's when we go in line Cause we got the beat, we got the beat, we got the beat Yeah, we got it! We got the beat We got the beat We got the beat Everybody! That's for sure. Thank that you back there. Yeah, <laughs> wow, yeah. I like our go-go dancers. 